Hi, I'm Romney, and welcome to the Life Graduate Publishing Group's uh, YouTube channel. There are so many challenges with either you know, low content publishing or even uh, high content publishing. One of the biggest challenges most people have is creating hardbacks for Ingram Spark. It was one of the challenges I faced, and there are so many times I had rejections through from Ingram Spark because so I wasn't quite getting it right. But in today's uh, video, I'm going to show you how to do it properly and be able to generate more income for your business. So watch this now. Well, thanks for coming along uh, today and uh, I look forward to being able to show you how to do the uh, turning your books into hardback versions for Ingram Spark. Now, this is not going to be applicable for all books because there's no point turning a, like a puzzle book or, a, you know, you're not allowed to put submit any uh, no-content books anyway to Ingram Spark. There, but there might be some low-content books that you can do, like uh, really nice journals, uh, gift journals and things like that, or even the higher-content books, non-fiction books or fiction books, where you may have traditionally used paperback on Ingram Spark because firstly, you weren't sure how to turn it into a hardback. Secondly, it can be expensive if you're outsourcing that process. And thirdly, you weren't really sure if it was gonna be an acceptable format to be able to send through to Ingram Spark. So in today's video, I'll show you how to turn your books, your paperbacks into hardbacks, and I use Canva. So that's been the best uh, way for me to do it. But I'll show you the step process. And there are a few little steps, but once you get to the hang of it, then it, is, it does, does become quite easy. And so I'll show you these steps. You can then implement them and be able to send through your books to be able to be approved by Ingram Spark. And the best thing is that you can generate greater passive income by having more opportunities for customers to choose what they want if they're book that they're purchasing comes in both a hardback and a paperback, then it gives you greater scope to be able to broaden your market of opportunities for books that you're selling. Remember, it's not always going to be applicable with uh, all your books. So think carefully about the ones you do convert into hardback, because as I've mentioned in other videos, is that Ingram Spark don't accept uh, no content books. So you need to make sure that you are um, turning the books that are going to be uh, approved into hardback and also you need to purchase an ISBN for each hardback you do. So it's not the same ISBN that you would use for your paperback, it is a separate ISBN that you would purchase but if you were purchasing that ISBN for example for five dollars it only takes one or two book sales to get your money back and you need to think long term. That one ISBN purchase and maybe spending 30 or 40 minutes to create your hardback could turn a book into four, five, six years, even longer of revenue if you produce a high quality book that is. So let me go through the steps now and I'll show you how to be creative, how to get the right templates organized and submit them through to Ingram Spark so you can get those hardcovers up and going. Right, so uh, what I've done is jumped into Canva and I firstly apologize if you hear any heavy rain happening or any hammering going on. I do have, uh, there's, a, there's a big cold front that's coming with a fair bit of rain. So I do apologize that in advance and I do have a neighbor that's doing some building. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, besides that, I just wanted to go through how I create the hardbacks for Ingram Spark. So step number one is obviously to have your cover ready. So I've just created the mock cover very, very quickly using Canva. So Canva is my preference in regards to the book creation uh, for paperbacks, for hardbacks, uh, even for um, you know the, the YouTube uh, thumbnails. All that is done on Canva. And I've got the pro version, which allows me to uh, do a few extra things, which I would highly recommend just because the time saving it provides is absolutely well worth the, the monthly spend. I think uh, it's around about 15 or $20 uh, per month. So it is very inexpensive for what you can use to create your books and things like that as well. Right, so let's get into it. 
Firstly, we would create our front cover. Now, when you would do that, uh, so you'd obviously uh, create fresh design, which is usually just up in this top right hand corner. The next step is we're going to create a hardback. We're going to do uh, a seven by 10 inch book at, I think it's 80, 80 pages, all right? So, so what we're gonna be doing is using those details to create our hardback. So first thing is you need to make sure the size of your cover is accurate at a seven by 10. So if it's not, we would go resize again using Canva Pro, I can do this, but from the get go, if you created your book cover, you can set the uh, size of the book from the very beginning, so you wouldn't need to do this. But if you hadn't, so we want is in inches. So we'd go seven by 10 inches and we would go resize and see how it's outside. You need to adjust the cover so it falls into the right space. So this side's a little bit short. So I wanna just extend it a bit beyond where the boundaries. So now we've got our front cover. It is in seven by 10. The next, and what we would then do is go download and we would save it as a PNG. And that gives us the highest quality. We'd save it into our file that we know where we're keeping that book um, information, that title. Then what we do is create our back cover. Exactly the same process. We would um, create a design, make sure that you're including all the information. And we would also make sure it is a seven by 10 because this is gonna help us with formatting the book. So we need to make sure it's in inches. We do seven by 10 and we go resize. Again, you don't need to do the resize if from the very beginning you do a seven by 10 inch cover for Canva and that can be done in Canva uh, under the free version, but I've got the pro monthly subscription that I use. Again, the cover is slightly out here. So what I do is make sure I adjust it and it is, I'd like to extend it just a bit beyond. So there's no wide edges here. You notice how I've also included the Larry here for the logo and or the brand that you might have. An ISBN will be placed in the bottom right hand corner of your book. I normally allow a good, uh, you know, bit of room up to probably about here. Uh, if we did an imaginary line across here, your ISBN would be put in that space here. Oop would be put in that space there. So make sure you left that. Again, you would download, you would go to a PNG and you would save it in that format so that you can get it later on. Now, the next step, what we need to do is actually get the size of our hardback because it's gonna be different from our paperback. In paperback, and I've got another video where I create paperback covers uh, using BookBolt, but in this situation, BookBolt doesn't do hardcover book formatting for me. So I needed to create a way I could use Canva to do that for me. But Ingram Spark provide a template generator that will they'll email you the size of the template for your hardback because a hardback needs to accommodate the different fold of the paperback, or sorry, the hardback as it wraps around. So they will organize and send you that template, but it's not as simple as just getting that template and using it. What you need to do is do a few things. So you need to go to the Ingram Spark um, cover template generator. I will provide you with the link to be able to get this. Now, what you would do is you have an existing paperback version. You can put your ISBN into there and that will self-generate a bit of this information otherwise you can enter that you can the, the trim size you would simply go and into your 7 by 10 we would do whatever you know we'll just say black and white today go white we are doing a hardback only gives you one option which is a case laminate we i like gloss i just tend to find glosses has a high durability page count we would do our 80 and then we would want a PDF. We'd send our email address in there and we would um, organize all those details there. Okay, so that's what needs to be done in this section. And you don't need to worry about price or anything. You would submit and that would come through to you as a, um, as a PDF format. So I will show you what it will arrive like.
So it will come looking like this. So this is an Ingram Spark PDF template that you would use. And you can see here how it's got some dimensions here. Now this number here is really important for us. And it's a 7 by 10, but there's a little trick to it. And when it's a 10 inch there, you need to add 1.5 inches when we do our calculations. Now I'm not sure what's going on here. So yeah, I'll, I'll go back to that in a moment. Um, so what we do is use that uh, as a generator. Let me go back and bring that up again. So we would use this uh, PDF document to, uh, to create our hardback version. So once it loads again, so this is it here again. Now, the next step we need to do is turn this into a picture or a PNG or, uh, or JPEG. What I normally do is uh, control print screen. So it's control print screen on your keyboard. I then go to a Word document, control print screen, and it would come up like this. What I would then do is I would crop this by um, going into it and going using my special features here, format, I would crop, and I would crop this right to the edges. Okay, so I would crop this right to the edges. Then I would save that as a picture. Okay, save that as a picture. Then what you would be left with is a picture like this so this comes up sorry about the dark screen it's taking my computer a little bit of time to load but what it will do is provide you with the actual image that we just cropped it so like this exactly like this because we're going to use this image now on our um, Canva so let me get out of this again we clear this and we clear, we will we need to remember this number. So write that we would write that number down 16.137. 16.137. I'll move out of that one as well. So what we would do is go back into Canva, we create so just go uh, a new design, which would be the button up here, and we would do a choose a book. So there'd be a drop down that falls down, just do book cover. We would initially we would want to input our sizes so we would enter that number which is on the right of the left hand side 16.137 so we go 16.137 and we know our book is 7 by 10 if it's say 10 inch it needs to go to 11.5 so 11.5 inches and we go resize now it gives us this okay now what we need to do that image we need to insert onto this picture here so we would uh, upload the actual image and that image would then come that image would uh, be available for us to paste here so what i've done is i've gone to uploads and i've uploaded the PNG image. So it's nice and easy. If I click that, all my book books will come up and I prefer not to show you all my book covers. So what I would uh, recommend you do, you go uploads, it'll say from this device or from the device, you choose where the folder is that you saved your JPEG image of the PNG, sorry, of the uh, book uh, cover. And now this is what we do. So remember, we did the right size. It falls in the middle, you leave it there. And now what we do is stretch this all the way to there. Now this is going to be where we need to put our book cover in. Okay. So what we would then do is uh, grab our, we would upload our covers. So I'll, um, I'll grab the two images and I'll show you what we do. So what I've done is grab those two images again. I went to uploads. I click that click from the device, found the folder, uploaded the two cover images, which I created initially, and I just simply put them on here and you can see I need to drag them around. So 
you click on the cover here, position, make sure it's in the middle, don't worry about the center. And what we now do, this pink box is where we want our book cover to be. Now, if you have designed your cover in 7x10, it should fit pretty much perfectly. So what we do, we drag it. Okay, and it sometimes may not fit exactly, but it's going to be very, very close. Right, we can do that. And we bring it right to the edge of that pink line there. And we do the same for the back cover. Again, get it to the middle, probably as close as we can to there. We drag it up, drag it down there. We do that again, do that again. Find the middle, which is about there, drag to the side, drag to the side. Now, anything outside this pink will be cut off. So we need to make sure and reject it if you don't do the writing inside that box. So we need to make sure that anything by just moving it is inside that box right there. And the same for this side here. So we can see the pink box right there. Now this is our spine as well. If your book was thick enough, you could put the name of the book in this pink section just here. But for today's uh, video, I'm not going to do that because I just want to show you how to do all this. So next, we would want to make sure we stretch this just to make sure it is fits into the area. Now, the next key thing is we have found where our position is there. We would now get rid of that and we need to find out what the cover color is of our book. So we would highlight the whole book we would go to here, that's our color there, but we click that. This is the code we need, so we copy it. And now what we need to do is we need to um, fill in the right color for the background. So we go background and we put in the color. So we will just click on that. We highlight, then we go control V. Now the whole book, is exactly as we want. This is going to be our hardback cover. We would have our logo positioned down here. You can see as you go through, the reason why I got the background uh, color is because it will all blend in. And we need to make sure that there's uh, nothing that is going to uh, look a bit weird with different things uh, like that. So that would be how you do it. We have got the right size. So we would name this, um, book so the you know hardback Ingram test okay whoops and we would then say that so what we would do we would download it as a PDF as a PDF document so we'd go down we would go PDF high quality print we would save that and that will be the file that you send through to Ingram spark and that is how you create a hardcover book for Ingram Spark. And it really probably it took me just under 15 minutes, maybe even less. So that's how it's done. And I hope that you have the opportunity to be able to create these covers because it just means that you can uh, be so much, uh, you can generate so much more passive income by offering the hardback versions of your books. So remember those steps. Uh, Re watch the video again if you would like to um, see how those steps are done and uh, I'll be back in a moment to finish off uh, the um, this this episode okay so what I wanted to do to finish with is actually go through the steps I know it can be complicated when I'm going through uh, the screen like I just did before so I'm, I'm hoping I cover off a few more things with uh, these, these these points uh, so number one what we need to do is, once we get this going, firstly have your covers front and back ready and saved. Ensure they are the right size. So when you design your covers, when you size them up, make sure if it, you're using, for example, a 7x10, you size it to be 7x10. If you're doing an 8.5x11, make sure you do an 8.5x11. It just allows you to drag your cover into the right into that template square a lot easier. Next thing, visit the Ingram Spark Cover Generator tool and enter the details and Ingram will email you the PDF document. So you'd need to have already had your paperback ready with your ISBN. 
and you need to be able to log into your account and if you need to get the ISBN, you can do that. Uh, otherwise, you fill in the details and email. It'll be emailed through. Make sure you choose PDF version if that's going to be easier for you. Then do that screenshot of the PDF and then paste that onto a Word document and save it as a, a JPEG picture or a PNG file and save that into uh, you know, the, where your book title and cover and information is so it's easily accessible. Next thing, you go back to Canva and you create that new book cover, which is going to be your hardback cover. And what you need to do is uh, to ensure you include or size that cover to what that, remember that side number, or I think it was 16.14 or something, make sure you put that into the dimensions and then always add the 1.5 inches to um, to your book as well. So for example, if it was a 7 by 10, that 10 inch would suddenly become 11.5 inches. If it was a 6.9 inch, that the 9 would turn into a 10.5 inch. So that's just uh, a little um, uh, a, a tip in regards to the sizing of it as well. But that number on that PDF document on the left, far left hand side, that's the critical number because that will accommodate the page, uh, the page numbers and everything like that as well. Then you upload your Ingram cover template, that PNG, and stretch it across that cover. So it should, if you've done it correctly, it should be able to be dragged so it covers the whole area. Then you upload your front and back, back covers and stretch them to position accordingly. Ensure you do not, I forgot the T on the do not, um, oh, sorry, I'm out of the next end. Do not have any writing outside of those pink boxes on your template. If it is, it'll be rejected. So it is critical that you make sure you check that there's no writing or anything like that. Uh, images can stretch across, but your writing must not. And like uh, if, you ha if you upload to uh, KDP, they will reject it as well. And it's the same with this one as well. And finally, uh, once in place, uh, sorry, I've done another spelling mistake. It should be delete the template, insert, insert the color code. So mine was like a dark blue, insert that code so that your cover blends right across. And to finish with, save your cover once done as a PDF document. And that will ensure that uh, when you do send it through to Ingram Spark, that it's in the right format as well. So I hope this information has really helped and I'll um, be back with just a uh, conclusion to, to this, um, uh, uh, this show in regards to the conversion of your paperbacks into hardbacks using Canva and the Ingram Spark uh, cover template generator. So there you have it. Hopefully that's helped you in regard to the, uh, the creation of your hardback covers. I know that I had so many challenges getting it right the first time, but I didn't really find anywhere where I could do what I've just done today and be able to, be able to help you create your hardback covers. If it creates more passive income for you, that's fantastic. That's an excellent result. And uh, so if, if these videos are helping you, um, I'm hoping to generate more and more for you. Uh, there's also a link in regards to Canva if a pro subscription would be suitable for you because there's so many things you can do and as I mentioned it just allows you to be able to scale your publishing a lot more because you've got more images you can use and uh, different formats you can change things around so that's there. I'll also provide the link to the, that Ingram Spark uh, cover generator tool so I'll include that uh, but if you'd like to please subscribe and uh, give me the thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if there's something I can improve on and hit the notification bell as well so when I produce more videos, you get that alert too. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, it's been a bit of a longer uh, episode, this one, the video, but uh, it's if it's given you great value, then that's a, it's a win for me and hopefully a win for you as well. So thank you and I'll see you in the next video.